it's not for you. It's for Gina. <laughs> Monkey. Come. Hi Gina, it's Mike here. So we're coming up to Valentine's Day and I thought, or we thought, it would be quite fun to send you six items in this little envelope that you can use to create a Valentine's themed mixed media project. Whatever you do, it's up to you. It could be a canvas, could be a page, an art journal page. It could just be some cards, who knows. But six items in here, plus a little treat, winging its way across the pond from the UK to you. Catch. All right, guys, here is my envelope from Mike and Mr. Bentley. And so let's open it and see what we're what we've got inside. I do want to say I love already the postage label. Please do not bend. I think I'm going to have to save some of these bits and pieces, if not for today's project, then for a future project. I'm going to try to do this without turning it over because his, yeah, his address is on the back. I don't care if mine shows, just for those of you who don't know, um, um, this is my P.O. box and actually it's not spelled right. <laughs> so if you send anything to there, I'm not sure, Mike, how this actually got to me because that's not the right address. That's interesting. All right, well, it got to me, so that's good. All right, so let's get this open with my letter opener. And let's see. So this is a copy of the intro that you've already seen. It does say play me, which I will do. Um, and um, we'll see if there's any bonus video on there or not. And if there is something appropriate to add on to this video, I will do that for you all. Um, but any intro stuff that's on there, I've already played for you. If you're watching this right now, you've already seen it. Look at all this fun washi tape. Holy cow. All right, let's see. How we can get into this with causing the least damage to the tape because I might want to use the tape. I don't, the tissue is just plain white, so the tissue doesn't matter so much. And I know you all, some of you are laughing, going, Really? Just cut it. And the rest of you are like, Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. I get it. You want to save the tape. <laughs> I know most of you are out there. Yeah, yeah, that's great tape. Save the tape. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have no idea what's in here. <coughs> Not even a teeny tiny little clue. I want to kind of get, see if I can get. Hmm. You taped it up really good, Mr. Mike. <laughs> It's really well taped up. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got that off. Let's get this one off. And let's get this one off. I might want to do something with the tissue. I don't know yet, but let's see. I kind of have mangled it, but let's see what else is in here. See something red. Oh look, and there's a piece of chocolate. He's so sweet. And there's something from Indigo Blue. Mr. Mike, I'm really hoping that's one of your stamps. Let's see. Those of you who don't know, Mike Deacon has his own line of stamps and other mixed media supplies. You should go check it out. If I can find a link from him, I'll go link it in the description below along with his YouTube channel. There, of course, is a piece of chocolate. You know, who doesn't love a little piece of chocolate for Valentine's Day? A ace of hearts playing cards. Playing card. I love that. A... Um... It is an indigo blue stamp. I don't know if it's one of Mike's or not. No, the designer is Kay Hallowell Sutton. I love the tattoo heart. That's a cute design. I love that. And I am a big fan of indigo blue. I have been since before I met Mr. Mike uh, virtually online. Um, they have a great line of products and stamps. A page from the Scarlet Letter. Um, wow, I haven't read that. 
in about a million years. Um, <laughs> I have read it. I took literature classes in high school. A beautiful image. Ooh, a wooden heart. That's cool. And look at this fun paper. I love the paper. It not only is pretty, but it's got, you can kind of tell by feeling it, it feels like it's got a high cotton content. So we are going to take these fun bits and pieces that he sent me, and we are going to try to create some sort of Valentine's Day themed mixed media thing. <laughs> I don't know right now if it's going to be a page, a card, a little mini junk journal. I don't know yet, but let me think on it and I'll be right back in just a second. I sort of really want to make a little mini junk journal with the things he sent me and maybe some few things from my stash. So I think that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to start with, this is just product, product packaging. This is actually a box that came with my Crayola marker maker uh, refill when I was making my own um, ink markers. And I don't know where they're at right now. Because, you know, I put, I put them away. Oh, here. So when I made the Sumi ink marker. Um, so this is something that came with that kit that I just, you know, saved, but I wasn't going to use for anything but junk journaling. So we're going to pull it apart here at the seam. Maybe. Oop, there we go. We're going to use this for our cover. I think it would make a great cover. Yeah. So we're going to... We're going to get this. Yeah, I think I'm wondering if I should cut the extra bits off or... I think I'm going to cut them off. So I'm going to speed forward through my process so you guys aren't watching this, you know, for an hour ad nauseum. And um, I'll be back at the end. And don't forget to ask me any questions about the process in the comments below. I will be sure to answer them. I try to answer your questions and comments every day. So I'm going to speed forward through this. I'll be right back.